Hi, this is John Melly. Thanks for checking out my listing, 7 Insider Secrets to Profiting as a Voiceover Artist. And if you're like me, you're probably wondering, okay, what's in the report? Well, what it is is a quick overview of the skills and techniques that I've used to build up my voiceover career over the years. Um, and I've been sharing it with folks in the eBay community for a number of years. If you look, I've got a 100% positive feedback rating. If you don't like the report, let me know. I'll send you your money back. You're also going to start receiving my newsletter, my monthly newsletter, On the Air with John Melly. That comes out hard copy once a month. It is absolutely free. And what it is, it just gives you an overview of what's going on in my career in voiceover and also give you tips and techniques on voiceover and most importantly on how to market your voiceover business because I teach people who learn from me that you've got to treat your business like a business. And we go into a lot of marketing in the newsletter. Um, if you simply want to start receiving my newsletter, fill out your email address and your name and, and name and your first and last name, and I'll put you on the list and we'll get you the information right away. And like I said, it's absolutely free. Um, but I bet you're an awful lot like me because all I ever wanted to do as a kid was do voices. And uh, I can remember when my grandfather gave me my first radio. Um, for some reason when he presented it to me, I couldn't m make myself say thank you. I didn't have the courage to do it. I don't know why. Uh, my dad was there at the time and he certainly wasn't going to let me receive this gift without acknowledging it. So he said, what do you tell grandpa? He just gave you something. What do you say? And I said, I don't know. And he said, yeah, you do. And so he said, well, then you can't have it. So this verbal tug of war took place. Finally, I mustered up enough courage to say thank you. And my grandfather just said, you're welcome. The radio was mine. I took it home, and I fell in love. I was captivated by the people on the radio. I wanted to know what they looked like. I, I was amazed at their ability to create pictures in my mind just simply by using words, music, and sound effects, the theater of the mind. And... I was fascinated by it. I was always doing voices as a kid. As a matter of fact, my mom said to me one time, John, one day I hope you're on the radio. And I said, really? Why? And she said, so I can shut you off. <laughs> and uh, we look back on that now and we laugh. She's really, she's my biggest fan and she's one of my biggest supporters. And so, but... I never stopped working at it. I didn't start off in voiceover or radio. I was a meat cutter. I paid my way through college by being a meat cutter, and I didn't study communications in college. I was a political science major, and I became a lobbyist for the real estate industry. Um, so like you, I didn't start out on radio or voiceover. I worked my way into it. And so now I'm the commercial production director for a major radio station here in Boston, Massachusetts. And I have voiced and produced well over 12,472 radio and television commercials during my career. I've also voiced characters for video games. I've voiced and produced audiobooks. And I've done a lot of industrial work for various companies. I've even done some uh, audio voiceover work for websites. I was even the voice for an exhibit for United Technologies Corporation at the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library in California. Now, I'm not telling you all of this to brag. I'm telling you this because I'm doing this for a living. I'm making a living at it. I'm full-time at it. And I'm not just sharing theories with you on how to get into voiceover. I've done it. I've studied voiceover with some of the top professionals in the industry. Folks like my friend Pat Fraley, Vanessa Marshall, Emmy Award winning Emmy Award winner Ed Asner, Brad Garrett from Everybody Loves Raymond. Uh, I've done a workshop with Nancy Cartwright, who's the voice for Bart Simpson and many others. And so I still take workshops on a regular basis, and I recommend that if you get into voiceover that you do the same. So go ahead, order the report. Even if you just don't want the report, but you want to start getting my free newsletter, go ahead and fill out the form with your name and your email address, and we'll get that right out to you. I'm thrilled that you're here because I know that you're taking action on a dream. Most people that come to this listing aren't in voiceover. They're interested in getting vo into voiceover or they know someone who is. And they have a dream and they want to know, how do I get started? Go ahead, order the report, or just sign up for the free newsletter. You can cancel it at any time. I want to work with the willing. If you've got a dream and you want to go for it, 
come on board. I'd love to work with you. I'd love to get to know you. And thank you very much for your time.